Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Soco de la Rosa and I'm here back with another video. Um, I will be showing a few of the things that I've bought for baby A. So I'm going to be doing a haul. Um, unfortunately, I don't think now that I am having a baby shower just because of the whole chaos that we're going through with this coronavirus and um, but it's okay because mo most of our stuff I already had bought within months in advance I am the type of person that I like to buy in advance I hate last minute things and I mean I'm not a picky person I'm really really simple and I don't demand a lot of stuff so this is just a few things that I've been buying most of her things I bought from Amazon just because I'm not able to shop because obviously I'm pregnant and my husband or my doctor let me go out and um, so yes I'll be showing a few of, just a few of the things that I've bought for her and um, let's get started so this is one of her bottles that I will be using for her I was thinking for the longest that I wanted to use the what's it called the como tomo or something like that the silicone ones and I think this is the baby brisa um I this is this I think the small ounce yeah the five ounce ones and it's three of them so you know they do sell the bigger bottles but I'm not gonna use them right now so I do have them on my registry. I did an Amazon registry, but for the, this is what I'm gonna be using just as right now. Like nothing that I'm gonna be using in the next six, the next six months I've bought them yet. So this is what the bottles that I'm gonna be using. And I saw really good reviews. The only thing that I didn't like uh, is the color. I love this color right here but it's actually a darker color which is cute though look they're so freaking cute but they're like more purplish you see the difference like I love this color right here I mean it's not ugly but I would love it to be this color right here but yeah this is this bottles that I'm gonna be using for her hopefully she'll take them if not then we'll Okay, another thing that I've bought is pacifiers. Um, I bought two different kinds just because none of my kids have three three kids and they don't they have never taken a pacifier. Never. Like I bought different kinds of brands and everything and they just don't take them. None of my kids, so maybe this one will, who knows? But I bought two different kinds. This is the Nano Bebe Flexi Pacifier. It has really good reviews and also the regular ones, the Avid, the Sudi ones. So I bought two kinds just to see which one she likes. Who knows? Um, all of this stuff, yes, I got them from Amazon. Most of, like I said, most of the stuff I got them from Amazon. Uh, this one. This one, uh, like I said, I'm not picky on the, the bottle brushes. This one is a kind that I do like because of the sponge. Just because I feel like whenever you're brushing, you're cleaning the bottle, you're actually, the sponges like fits all of the way to the, to the bottle. And the ones that have like all the bristles all around it, I feel like it's harder. Like it doesn't, you can never get the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that sucks that this one does wear off and it comes off and it rips and everything. But I mean, it was, I think it was like three bucks, so it's not bad. But yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna be using for her. Also, okay. I got this one, um, her little soap and lotion. I really, really wanted to get the, um, what's that brand? The Mostella, I think it's called. It smells really good, but it was really, really expensive on Amazon. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this one, I got it as an emergency. I think it, I got it 
that very first week that all this chaos started with the coronavirus and I was literally that day that I was shopping for paper towels for toilet paper and I saw this one and I was like you know what let me just grab it porque you never know what's gonna happen you know so I just saw it and I grabbed it and I got it and I mean she has lotion now so she's gonna be clean smelling like lavender so that's for sure um what else uh okay this is I'm really excited about this one this is a drying station. Yes, from Amazon too. I'm gonna try to link, if I can find them, I'm gonna try to link them. But this is really, really cool. I liked it um, because you're able to store not only the bottles and the chupones, the pacifiers, but also whenever they get older, whenever you're feeding them, like the little spoons and stuff. And it has two of the stations, as you can see. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. I really, really like that you're able to hang everything. So I will keep you updated on this one whenever she's born. But I thought it was really, really cool. But like I said, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna try to link it on my description box if you're interested on it. And yes, it's from Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I don't think it was really expensive. But yes, this is something that I'm really, really excited about. Okay, something that I am trying new with this baby is this, uh, the muslin swaddles. This is something new. And I only got four of them. It's, yes, from Amazon too. Um, and I like it because they're really thin. They're cotton. And the thing is, since the baby's gonna be more like a summer baby, she's not gonna be really, really hot. Um, Cause you know here in Texas it gets pretty hot, so I feel like she's gonna be comfortable with them. And none of my stuff, like I still have to wash everything, but I wanted to do this video first. And I'm really, really excited because they're like really, really uh, long and wide, and it's four of them, and you can use them as a swaddle. Well, yeah, obviously like as a swaddles, uh, like a privacy throw for breastfeeding, uh, like on stroller, just for everything. So I'm super excited about this one. And same thing, I got it off of Amazon. And I will keep you guys updated too um, after the baby's born. So I'm gonna wash all this too. Um, guys, these things. Let me know what you think about this freaking mittens. I've always gotten them with all my kids. But the thing that I hate, they don't last on their little hands. You lose them. So that's why I only bought four pairs. Because I don't really feel like you really need these. Like, I got her socks. I would rather put on their little hands to keep them from scratching socks than mittens. They just come off like crazy. Or if you get one of them, like, bodysuits, they have the little foldable. I don't think I have any. They have the little foldable um, arm thingies. They're way better, or even socks, than these freaking mittens. You know, damn well, these things do not last in their hands. So this one got only four pairs of these. So her socks, I like this ones that I have, they are like much thicker on the top because um, they don't come off as easily than the wider ones. So I got her uh, 12 pairs. Sorry if you hear my kids, they're downstairs and I'm upstairs. Um, so I got them 12 pairs. I think it should be good, right? Like I said, she's gonna be a summer baby. And most of the time we're not gonna be going nowhere because of this freaking virus. But yeah, these are her socks. Same thing, I got her from Amazon. Um, okay, what else? I got her plenty of uh, blanket receivers. I had them just stacked up on her little closet, but I'm gonna wash them. And they're like just freaking cute patterns. Look at this ones. Um, you know these little receiving blankets, you only use them for like the first month or two months. And then they grow out of it. They grow out of them. And I got like a few of them, cute little patterns, dinosaurs and everything, turtles. So this is gonna be washed. Um, also one thing that I always, always get with my kids is, um, they're, what's it called, burp cloths? I think they're burp cloths. 
where whenever you're gonna burp them or whatever, they're really, really thick, and this is what I like. They're super, super thick. They're like double-sided. It, it looks like it has like two of them. So whenever you like burp them or whatever, just put it like on your shoulder, and you won't mess up your clothes. And I this this is like one of my favorite ones because they're really, like I said, they're really, really thick, and I got plenty of them. And I use those a lot. I love those. Especially because my last two kids, they've had um, severe reflux where they just throw up everything. So these right here, I are for, like life changers for real. You need a lot of these. So hopefully we'll see how baby eight is. Hopefully she doesn't have reflux like my other two kids. My oldest, she's the only one that didn't have that. But it sucks. Um, another thing, I got a few blankets for her. I have more but this is just like one of the few ones um so she's more like a summer baby because she's gonna be due at the end of may uh i didn't really get her the ones with the sherpa just because i feel like they get too hot and they're too sweaty and they start to get the like the little granitos ¿Cómo se llaman? ¿Cómo se so i just got like a few with the sherpa not a lot see like this one i love this one because they're like thin but they're so soft and they i'm mean, still gonna keep them warm compared to this ones, So I think like these ones only got her like two and I got her more like this kind. And like I said, yes, I got them both from Amazon. They're really, really cute. And I'll link them down, down below if I'm able to find the link. Uh, I've got her little shower towel with her little hooded towel. Um, I think this is one of the few things that I bought at the beginning just because she's gonna need it. Uh, like I said, I'm not picky. I've seen it a lot on stores. Um, I think I got it off of Amazon too, but I saw it on Marshall. So I think I've seen them in a lot of stores and I've seen a lot of people have these also on the baby registry, but it was so cute. And I'm mean, yes, of course, I'm going to wash it. Like I said, I'm not picky. Um, also, this is one of the things that I got at the beginning too. Whenever they born their little hats. How cute are these? They comes with a little bow. Um, I I got them from Amazon. I'm not sure if I lost a few, but I think it only comes in three. This is how they come. Different colors and patterns. This is so so cute. Like whenever they're born, and if you um if you've had kids before, most of the freaking little uh, hats that comes with like other outfits don't fit them. Sell sky like it comes off and this ones are like more like the hospital ones they're really like they're stretchy for the little heads and um i'm so excited about this this one i thought this one like were like the cutest things that i bought at the beginning a few months apart like three months back to be honest and i'm really really excited about this one um also i bought off of amazon a lot of her bows already there are a lot of, I still have a lot of the baby registry, but this is one of the ones that I got at the beginning. Her little moños, her little bows. How cute are they? Look, they have like the stretchy band. Cause you know, babies have tiny heads. They're so cute. They have, they come in every, every color for you to match. I thought they were so freaking cute. Um, and stretchy like I said I got them from Amazon too I have them um, linked down below if I'm able to find them also something that I wanted to share is that um whenever I don't know about you but whenever my kids are born most of the babies if you get them like the newborn um sizes they come pretty big depends on what brand you buy for all of my kids, I've always bought I, at least five outfits that are preemie. Just because I feel they're more like snuggled and they fit them better. Even though it's only going to last for a week or two. But I always bought them like at least five outfits. And this is one of the preemie outfits that I've gotten from uh, Marshalls. It's for a preemie, yes. It's a preemie, but it's... Ignore the cats. I don't like cats, but I saw it and it was tiny, so I know it's gonna fit her good. I still don't know what's gonna be her coming home outfit, 
but this is one of them. This is a preemie. And also I got online the Gerber brand. Uh, this is a preemie too. Super, super tiny, so she can be comfy, like I said. We're not gonna be going out whenever she's born. She's gonna be most at home. And she's gonna be more like a summer baby. Of course, you turn on your AC. So you wanna keep the baby nice and warm. Because then they get sick super fast. And we don't want you to be in the hospitals and doctors right now. But yes, this is Preemie 2. This is a Preemie came with like a three pack. I think this one is a pretty, it's bigger. And it says it's a Preemie. But I think this one's bigger. Hopefully everything after I wash it, it's gonna be um, smaller. Um, this one was one of her first dress that I bought. <sighs> How adorable this is. This is a new, this is a newborn, yeah. But she, like I said, she's gonna be on this born during the summer. How freaking cute is this? It's just so, so tiny. It was so cute when I saw it. And it comes with her little calzones. I think they were so, so cute. Also, another thing that I wanted to show you guys. I bought this one off, off of the Gerber brand. And I think they come on bigger sizes. Because it's huge. Look at that. It barely fits in the camera. And it's a newborn. Yes, it's a newborn. Like, compare this. This is the Carter's. Look. Look at the difference. It's crazy, right? Um, Hopefully, since this is more like a thermal it'll shrink whenever i wash it and dry it but they're huge this is crazy like she's not gonna fit on this right away that's for sure hopefully it'll shrink uh, what else i want to show you guys okay yes <laughs> what i'm about to show you next is her diaper bag like i said i'm not a picky person but i wanted something cute not dramatic i didn't want it a backpack because i know the ones that you've seen that it are right in right now like they're trending are like those rectangular backpacks to be honest i'd rather get her stuff more like a tote than have everything stuck up like going upwards does it make sense so i really wanted a tote i wasn't able to find a nice like a cute tote you know so this is what i got for her it's, it's like a neutral color i couldn't find no pink cute ones so this is her diaper bag i love the neutral colors the this what color is this like a beige no like a tan color but i just love the only thing that i don't like is this right here the logo uh seven cents but I, I mean, I, I like it. It's, I think, a little bit too big. But, you know, when they're, like, newborns, you you just try to put fit everything since you don't forget, especially their paperwork, when you go first to the doctor, a whole bunch of milk, a whole bunch of diapers, and everything. Um, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's like, an, like a love and hate thing. No, I don't hate it. I think it's cute. It has a lot of room. I think it's too, too big than what I was looking for. Maybe if it was like a less, less, um, a little bit mas chiquita, it would have been great. Um, what do you think for a girl? I mean, I like it. You know, it could have been worse, but if you, there ha they had two colors on Amazon. It was this one, and then it's like um, navy blue. I think the navy blue is so pretty for boys. But yeah, this is more like a, both, unisex colors and yes i like it i mean i'm happy i guess i'm satisfied but at the same time you know this is just for a few months later on i can always transition to a smaller one whenever they don't eat, they don't drink as much milk they eat more solids and stuff so this is just like por ahorita, you know but yes it's gonna be her diaper bag let me know what you think and yes it's for amazon i will link it down below and Yes, guys, so that's it. I have um, a lot of more stuff to show y'all, but this is just going to be something small for right now. Um, they hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, I'm excited. I have four weeks left before baby eight gets here. 
Um, I wanted to do this video first because I am trying to get her diaper bag ready. I'm trying to get my um, hospital bag ready just because I really, I'll be 36 weeks next week. And I just want to have everything ready. Like I said, I usually have my kids early. Um, and I don't know, I don't think that early, but I usually, ha usually have them before my due date. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just the type of person that I like to have everything ready. No andar a las carreras, you know? So yes, I'm going to wash everything, put my, put everything together, her little diaper bag and stuff. And just have everything ready for baby A. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Like it just hit me that I really want to see her already. I want to see who does she look like. I'm just curious now. Like every time that I see her stuff in my closet, it's like, oh my God you know but yes super excited and um please guys don't forget to like share comment on my videos um if you have any questions please link um comment down below sorry don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for all the new subscribers that i've gotten and see you guys on my next video take care bye